How do you know if your periods are normal? Well, it's really difficult because we're all different and we all experience different periods. But I'm joined today by Dr. Sam Wilde, who's the Bupa Clinical Lead for Women's Health. And we're gonna share with you a few tips around what you should be looking out for to identify that maybe something isn't quite right. So Sam, let's start off. What should period blood look and smell like? So um, you might notice to start at the start of a period, your period blood is, is a light pink colour. That's as the blood mixes with the cervical mucus that's there. So pink is normal. Bright red next um, is when the blood is at its fastest. It's leaving the body quite quickly. So usually at the start to the middle of the period. And then this can go a darker red, brown and even look quite black and that's a sign that the blood's taken a little bit longer to come out of the body um, as the flow has slowed down a little bit and it's come into contact with air and oxygen and that's what makes the colour change. So all of those colours are completely normal. Orange, yellow colours, grey colour, that can be a sign of infection. So if you notice anything like that, then you should be speaking to your doctor. Blood smells a bit metallic, um, you know you know that if you've ever cut yourself as well. But if there's a really offensive odour to it, mm -hmm. it, particularly if you've got any itching or soreness as well, then I would definitely recommend that you see a GP, as again it might be a sign of infection or something else that's going on. What about periods and heaviness and flow? How heavy is too heavy? So there's lots of different things that you can look out for here. So if you're changing your pad or your tampon more frequently than every one to two hours, then that can be a sign that your period is quite heavy. If you're needing to use two products together, so if you're using a tampon and a pad or two pads, again, that could be a sign. If at night you're flooding through into your bedding or um, you're leaking into your clothes during the day, Again, that's another sign. Um, if you're passing big blood clots, so um, it's normal to pass some small clots, but if um, clots are bigger than the size of, say, a 10 pence piece, that's also something that I would, you know, recommend that you go and speak to your doctor about. Okay. And then there's something around quality of life, isn't it? If it's stopping you from going to work, going to school, doing the things that you normally would want to do. Exactly. If you're feeling really tired with it, mm -hmm. um, if you're feeling short of breath as well, that could be a sign that you're anemic. So, um, yeah, again, in those situations go and speak to your GP. And what sort of conditions might cause very heavy bleeding? So a very common one is fibroids, um, so these are benign growths of the, of the uterus of the womb um, which can cause heavier bleeding. Endometriosis is very common too, polycystic ovarian syndrome and then there's other conditions such as an underactive thyroid um, so you know and, and plenty of other things that the GP will be trying to exclude. Okay what about period pain? Period pain to some extent is normal most of us experience it but when is it too much? So yeah as you said period pain normal the uterus is contracting to, to uh, make the lining leave the body which is what we see as the period. Again, if it's stopping you doing your normal daily activities, if you're losing time off school, off work, that is not normal. So very simple, really. Um, you know, if it's really stopping you in your tracks, go and see your doctor. And people can try things like paracetamol, ibuprofen, which tend to be helpful for most people, don't yeah, they? Yeah. But if you've tried that and it's yes. making you miserable. Stomach massage too, exercise, those sorts of things can all help. Um, but if it isn't enough, then do go and seek some help. And finally, what about how our menstrual cycle affects our emotions? Is it normal to be up and down and all over the place? It absolutely is, and that's because our hormones are changing throughout the month. So um, in the first half of our cycle, as estrogen levels rise, that's when we feel at our best, we feel our most energetic. And then in the second half of the cycle, as the progesterone levels rise, that's when we can feel sort of quite slowed down, can feel quite low as well. Um, and that usually continues into the first bit of your period too. So it is absolutely normal, um, what we call premenstrual symptoms. Um, but again, if you're finding that it's affecting your life and you're not able to continue as normal, then you must seek some advice. Yeah, because there are things that your GP can do to advise you and support you to alleviate some of these symptoms, aren't there? There are, there's lots of medications that can be tried, um, so definitely worthwhile going to have a chat with them. Thanks, Sam. So you've indicated there are four key areas that people can look out for things not being quite right. So the look and the smell of the blood, how heavy the period is, how much pain, and also how it impacts mood. I think the final thing to say is that you know your body better than anyone else. So if something's changed or you're not happy, get it checked out by your GP. Thank you.